Welcome to the Least Favorite Podcast featuring Natalie and Denzel. Let's go. So let's get into this Ray J topic. Oh boy. Okay. So Ray J is Brandy's brother. He dated Whitney Houston, Little Kim, and Pamela Anderson. I did not know about the Pamela Anderson. I didn't know about Little Kim. Neither. I didn't know he dated Lil' Kim. I had like a little, because she was on Moesha I didn't know he too. Dated Pamela and they did the songs together. Oh. Yeah, Pamela Anderson is like, what? I said Ray J out here. <laughs> he made Kim Kardashian famous, is a member of the Bloods, made One Wish and Wait a Minute, made Scooty Bike and Seven, and a seven figure company. Oh. He made. <laughs> yeah, they did. I was wondering, like, why that's relevant, but I guess when we get to the question, he had whatever. To throw that in there, yeah, right? <laughs> Like. <laughs> he made Scooty Bike a seven-figure company. He owns Suge Knight's Life Rights. What does that mean? He what? owns his Life Rights. That means if someone wants to make a movie, they have to go through him. Okay. How the hell did he get that? All right. So they said Ray J is a legend because of all these things. And then, like, Twitter went crazy because, like, nobody knew um, was, uh, he was Brandy's, Brandy's, Brandy's brother. brother. He's, just, he's just young. What? Like, a lot of the... But I feel like a lot of young kids... They don't really know Brandy. They didn't watch yeah. Moesha. They, they not watch Moesha. So it was like, don't look so shocked. That's how he got famous. So right. Got famous. But it makes sense that they didn't know who he was or like they didn't know that he was Brandy's brother because it's mm-hmm. like they probably don't even know him or Brandy. Yeah. Unless they're watching Love and Hip Hop. I don't. <laughs> didn't we talk? Oh, no. That was with Malcolm. We talked about One Wish. Yeah. Um. All right, so do you guys think Ray J is a legend for Absolutely all these things? Not, not in my not, not really. I don't, not he did do for the culture, though, but I, w- I wouldn't call him a legend. Musically, no. Nah. Yeah. I mean, what did he do for the culture? Like, um, make sex tapes normal? Three, 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 Celebrity? Wait, yeah. wait a minute. Wait. If I have one wish. And, um, I don't know the other uh, one. The other one was, um, I wrote it on my post. That worked, too. Oh, <laughs> he did a um, reality show for the love of Ray J. Yes, he did have for the. Oh my God! Yeah, that shit was I lit. forgot about that. <laughs> Contributed to the reality TV. Uh, yeah. So uh, to the sex t- to the porn industry. Yeah, acting. Acting, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say he a legend though. Now he got the scooty. You bike. would say he a legend. Nah. I mean, okay. So what do y'all think makes a legend? Like honestly, especially in hip hop culture. Sexy can I? Oh, sexy That's can so I? Wow. With Young Berg, but that was a hit because of Young Berg, not because of him. Saying, anyway, nah, yeah. I don't know what makes what makes somebody a legend. In hip hop, I feel in like hip-hop. definitely impact. impact. Impact, of course. Um, great like music project, star quality. Yeah. Um, that's I guess that's impact. Right? Like Drake will be a legend. Yeah. J Cole will be a legend. For sure. Kendrick. Ray J. Nah. And it's like for me, I just feel like for somebody to call him a legend. He's versatile. I say that. Does he, he even is. have the keys to the city of where he's from? I don't think so. Who is he like, from LA? I feel like that's something that kinda like gives you that stamp, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Style like, Speed. Like Style Speed got the keys to Yonkers or whatever. He's a legend. No. Right. Style Speed is definitely a legend. Yeah. You know what I'm well, saying? Like, what is Ray J like? I was like, what's those, legendary about what that? Like, yeah. I just feel like it's based on what you prioritize. Because if you think like those contributions, like what we said, acting, porn industry, reality TV, the Scooty Bike, then I guess he made like <laughs> I th- I seen a video where he made where he made like these glasses that were like unbreakable. Yeah. And the person tried them on and like they were unbreakable and then like. He, he said that they were unbreakable. And they broke? So the I'm person took right them now. off and broke them. <laughs> so I don't right care. in front of him. I don't care. Where was this? This was like, I think it was like a complex interview or something like what that. What the yeah. hell? That's don't funny. Don't quote me on that, but I think it was like a, like a complex interview. He got earbuds know. too. Some earbuds. Yeah, so he got air, he got air, um, like earbuds. Like he does have earbuds, you're right. And yeah. he had like mass celebrities advertising it too on Facts. Instagram, like a lot. Facts. And, you know, he got the scooty bikes. But I, come on, you got to do some type of humanitarian shit. Like, I just think it's he's just corny. Like, you can't be that, you can't be legendary and that corny. And he was on Love and Hip Hop, right? Yeah. yeah, he was on Love and Hip Hop. But it's right. like the shit you do, like, it's clear that you are doing it for attention. And for clout, like a lot of the things he does and a lot of the things he says, that to me is like you're forcing it. Like it's not a natural, legendary. Like how did this even gain traction? Like him being a, a, a 
legend. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, like who 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 made this? Who made this up? Like who gave Twitter. this life? Twitter, right? Black Twitter. There you go. I don't even got Twitter. Me neither. I, I don't have Twitter either. Oh, the Twitter was were... popping this week while IG was down. Yeah, because yeah. that was the only thing about running. They working. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook was down. Yeah, WhatsApp I was like, what was the hell is going yeah, on right now? I thought it was my service. Everyone did. Phone. I, I turned off my phone like three times. My phone off. Put it on airplane mode. Took it off real quick. I'm like, all right, maybe now. Nope. Bum ass Wi-Fi off. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, you got an addiction. You over here doing yeah. all this extra shit. All this extra shit. Yeah, I was like, you know, after a while, I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. What do I do now? Yeah, I just put my yeah, phone down. I was working, working with when it happened. So. All right. Next one. Y'all just looking at me. I feel the pressure right now. Yeah, I got it open already. So nothing else about Ray J. Ray J is not a legend I'm to bad. me. He will never be a I'm legend bad. to me. Also, a lot of people don't even know who well, younger people don't even know who Whitney Houston is. Or Pamela Anderson. Who's thinking about Pamela Anderson? Nobody. She ain't do nothing. Like, please. I mean, they know Whitney Houston. Her song comes in the bar every fucking time I'm at the bar. That's the piece Whitney Houston. But a lot of people may hear, know the song, but don't know who the person is. That's also true. All right, I want to know if we should talk about the girl who paid the barber four hundred dollars to fuck up her man's hairline. Oh, yo! Or if we should talk about the video you sent with the guy saying that women don't own their shit. So it could go either way. Women don't what? Women don't own their shit. Oh. Basically, in the video, we'll just get into that one. Basically, in the video, he was saying how. Women, like if you call, yeah, we'll put the video. video But basically, he was saying, women, if you call her a hoe, she's not gonna admit it. She's gonna be like, well, guys have sex with a lot of women too, or guys date a lot of women too, and he feels like men own their dirt. Yeah, I'm gonna play it for y'all real quick so y'all can see, and then you'll put it. He's like, yo, when a guy does his dirt, like he owns it, opposed to like a woman, they'll be like, you know, well, men do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Rather than them saying like you're right, I did it. Like women always, they they try to like deflect it yeah. onto yeah. something else. Women have called men dogs, and men don't put up too much of a fight trying to, uh, you know, protest it. They don't put too much of a fight up trying to protest. Right, it, right. True. They know they've accepted it. But you know, if a woman is out being loose, you know, acting like a slut or whatever, oh. you know, she don't. She don't own it. She'll say that well, men do it, and and men, but men, men. I think I think men, oftentimes, well, more often than not, own their shit. That's a legend, man. Don't be talking about him like that. That was it. All right. So, what do y'all think? You think he's right? The three men in the room. First of all, we need a country motherfucker from Texas. <laughs> so it's a lot different now. Okay. Meaning what? How's it different? It's the South. Lifestyle? Yeah, everything is completely different. The way dudes think down there is crazy. The what? The way men and women think in the South is different. How? <sighs> you think they're more conservative? Uh, hell no. Now when it comes to like shit, they just more like... I, they're not open-minded? They are, but like I'm talking about like in the hood. Mm-hmm. They, they be... minded Like women don't be giving a fuck like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you and, think we care more here? I think so. Mm. Yeah, like women here. Okay. Maybe in their feelings a little bit more up here, where females down there go just be like, I like how he's explaining it. I think the way he is explaining it, it's like how women are that I knew from down south okay. when I lived down south. So even, south but even still, I think there's some truth to it because I've never actually physically <laughs> like seen like well many females that would own up to their their, their shit. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like. True. They, they'll be like, you know, I don't want to make this an excuse as to why I did it. Yeah. But due to what I was feeling when that happened, that's what made me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Wait, know. so what just, so they said that they cheated or whatever because they felt a certain way. Not cheated, but not like, cheated, but like know, basically if they dying around. Yeah. <clears throat> Or they, you know, they did so. They they reacted in a certain way because of, you know, what I'm saying like. Well, I've had women who said like they do they dirt because they've owned it, but I mean they had reasonings behind it, but they still like own it. Like yeah, I, I do me, and that's what it is, kind of thing. If they don't care, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, so I don't know. 
that's kind of how did you they mean. own it to the partner or did they own it like behind the partner's back like so i'm saying is it someone that's also woman that's like cheating on someone well that's different i don't think they own it to their partner I like that's, to that's me. Okay, so yeah, that's different. If you own it like all across the board, then that you just ruthless out here. <laughs> like you blatantly tore your for hey, Yeah, I did it. You yeah, caught me. Okay. You caught me. Mm-hmm. What Especially happened? Especially if you meant to do it too, like that's wild. Mm-hmm. You meant to you do what? Go. If you you meant to do the dirt. Mm. Mm-hmm. Being spiteful. I mean, I think in general, without like taking dirt off the table, like doing something bad, is it ever really easy to own up to your shit? It's not easy. It's hard. Yeah. It's not, and I think that goes for men and for women. Like, especially knowing that you hurt someone. Exactly. Knowing that you were wrong, like, who really wants to admit when they're wrong? Yeah. At the end of the day, you gotta look in the mirror and see yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to, but it's just like nobody wants to hear shit about themselves. Nobody wants to hear, sh- especially when you're the one saying it yeah. to yourself. Like, damn, I diff. Yeah. You shock yourself sometimes. Yeah. Like sometimes you end up doing shit or saying shit, and you're like, damn, mm-hmm. like I said that. And hearing it from somebody else, it just yeah. Hit different. Especially how it made them feel afterward. It's like mm-hmm. fuck. Like that's that's tough for anybody mm-hmm. to do. So. I personally, just in general, would like to not see like toxic memes towards the gen- <clears throat> the other gender. Yeah. Like that's Same. why I unfollowed a lot of these like meme pages, especially Justin LaBoy. I've been yeah. unfollowed him. I, I never Cause followed it's too him. toxic. I like, never followed him. To be honest, <clears throat> me neither. It will like it will dead ass have you question. Like if you are in a relationship or you are talking to somebody, it will dead ass have you question <clears throat> yeah. everything. Yeah, especially and if it's you like, see them like a certain post. Yo. Mad girls fought with him. Yo. It's just crazy. And then it's like, people run with that. Yeah. Like, oh, if my man isn't doing this, then he's a bum. And it's like, no, he's not a bum. Like, maybe he don't know. Or maybe... You may yeah. be in a situation with someone and then he may post some toxic yeah. shit. Yeah, and then and you then start. You may see your girl or your yep. or your man liking yep. it, and then you're like, hmm, they you approve would... of this, or yeah. is this just funny that to too? Them? That too. That shit plays in the back of your mind sometimes. So it's just like I don't know. That's why it's just minimal. You just got to do everything Un- in moderation. Sometimes you just gotta unfollow your significant other on social media. Don't follow each other. <laughs> no, it's true because. Yeah. That yeah, you could because yeah. you, you want you might be on Instagram. You see some, you might like some shit that's yeah. just random. And it, to me, you ain't putting you didn't put any thought to it. She might be having a fucking bad day, and it's to her, it's like the end of the world. Yeah. when you were just like liking she shit, when you were just scrolling like and didn't yeah. even think about this fucking yeah. thing. So that's why sometimes. My thing is, I like to separate social media and real life. Yeah. For me in general, I don't, I don't like I don't like to let social media affect my real life. You know, if I'm dealing with somebody or whatever, I may say some shit that got nothing to do with you because I'll be thinking my shit throughout the day with people in general. Exactly. You know? Or you probably went through something five years ago and yeah, see something that's relatable up. now. Like, exactly. My whole world don't revolve around you. Right. Yeah. Like, it's mad other stuff that be going on. Like, like, I'm just here to post and have a good time. Yeah, and that's, that's it. it. Like, give you a piece <clears throat> in my mind, and that's it. That's <clears throat> it. Me in person, and I think it's a good vibe. I treat you good. You want that? Yeah. Social media. Word, shit. I had my ex, me and my ex, we didn't follow each other on social media, like on Instagram. It was just like, yo, we just kept that shit separate. And it was just worked out perfect. If it works, it works. <laughs> then, yeah, it's just like, yeah. yo, for what? I can't even get a Mac because I like the meme that or some retarded shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Right. Yeah. You see, not everybody's as like, I don't know. Like, you. I would feel a way if I'm dating someone and we don't follow each other on social media. Because now I'm going to think you're just being sneaky and doing something. <laughs> Maybe that's just a woman in me, then. Yeah, I feel you. I, but it's kind of like, why don't you want to follow me? Like, I get you probably don't want people in your business. And, um, you know, you don't want me getting mad at shit you're doing. But, like, if you're not doing anything crazy, then what is there to get mad at? I got a poo, too. <laughs> I don't know. No, so see, like, like, well, her and I, we follow, we were following each other. Yeah. And then, like, shit, she got mad at shit. I'm like, yo... I'm like whatever. She so got she got over what she saw on Instagram. Yeah, like I'm fucking liking some okay. random dumb shit like that, and yeah, I'm just yeah, like, yeah, we're together. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so I was like, yo. I mean, that's a risk you take, I guess. So it's like, come on. For me, once you start like complaining about likes on social media or uh, online, biggest turn off for me. Question. <clears throat> like I just like lose complete. Question. You're just unattractive to me. <clears throat> when you get into a, into a relationship or whatever, do you have to like curb kind of like what you like? Would you be liking on the gram and stuff? Like, see, I don't feel like I have to because I don't be liking crazy shit. If anything, I like girls. 
Like I be liking girl posts. So like, it's like what if you out here liking mad dudes photos and stuff? I don't think I would. I don't think I would do that if I was dating somebody. Once you get that yeah. kind of relationship, you, you would kind of like. If it's regular, yeah, exactly. What kind of photos? Yeah, like because if it's regular, like if it's a picture of you, if you post right now, like I'm gonna like a game, picture of you, like Trey songs. Nah, that's celebrity. celebrity. That's nothing. I don't care about that. Chris Brown. Nah, I don't care about that. Okay. That's that's stupid. Everyone has like celebrity crushes and. Okay. Yeah, that's nothing. Um, regular people though, mm, I don't know because it's like if it's some random guy from high school and he has his shirt off and if my I guess my significant other saw me like that he may not like it. Like, what if you're following like why like you like in this picture of this shit. regular models is whatever they're models. Yeah, but like, who like that's see that's why it annoys me. It's like why are you getting mad with someone else's likes on? That's just stupid. Like I said, that shit yeah. just turns me off completely. Once yeah. you start complaining about that, I'm just like, yeah. you too insecure. Like I can't. For I can't me though, I shit. get it. It don't bother me. Like, I get it. Yeah, it if it's a regular, like, if it's you, you're my friend. Yeah. Why can't I like a picture of you? That's true. I don't know. That's true. But if it's somebody random see, and I just, the, see, that's the thing. Like, like dick I, print all in the picture <laughs> and I'm liking it. Like, he's going to feel away. Listen, as long as yeah, you, like, you're going to feel away about that. So it was like. Just don't comment hard eyes. I don't even comment anyway. So that's whatever. Yeah. That's it. You're looking for attention. Yeah, the comment is extra. Like, <laughs> keep you're doing it too much. Keep right. Keep it those to yourself. Keep your emojis to yourself. Keep, keep, the, to yourself. keep it those to eyes. yourself. Keep it safe. Keep it respectful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. Um, all right. So, as soon as you're born, you are given a name, a religion, a nationality, and a race. You spend the rest of your life defend, defending a fictional identity. How y'all feel about that? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna read it again. As soon as you're born, you're given a name, a religion, a nationality, and a race. You spend the rest of your life defending a fictional identity. I wouldn't say it's fictional. I wouldn't say it's fictional either. Why well, wouldn't I you? What I am. That's how I feel. I was like, who says it's fictional? Like, at the end of the day, if we're shaped by our parents, our environment, our ethnicity, our culture, that's us. That's what makes us, like, or else how, what other way would I come out? You know, what other way would I be Yeah. without that influence? So how is it fictional? It's just me. Like, how you but, grew but, too. But, but, you know, there's, there is, like, a person that we all kind of, like, aspire to be in our heads. Okay, keep going. Like, I feel like, there's some people we kind of like move in a sense like we're that person you know what i'm saying like okay. or that like an idol yeah in a sense you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's just like say say for instance like somebody may say like you know i'm like i'm like batman you know what i'm saying like call me batman because I, I always wear black I'm, mm -hmm. you know my car is black you know what i'm saying like uh um, I'm low key. You you, I don't, you only see me at night. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just kind of like, like a parallel universe, I guess, in a sense. Like, okay. So would you say? Are you saying that that's also fictional too? I mean, yeah. The Batman okay. is not really real. He's not. At, so that would be fiction. Yeah, yeah from that perspective. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like in a sense. And I do get it too. Like um, sometimes like due to let's say you have you in a certain culture where like you have an arranged marriage, for example. Okay. Like you're following this culture And it's not even probably what you want Like yeah, what do you want to yeah, marry your own right, Like right. so that's when it's like It really does define us yeah. And sometimes it's in the most Like unfortunate circumstances mm -hmm. Where it's like damn I can't dress the way I want to dress right. I can't marry right. who I want to marry Like things like that Or Look Since you say that mm -hmm. Like say like Being that you're just raised a certain way Yeah Just being that how your family is and shit like by default, that's just who you are as an yeah. adult now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. now you probably not even around your family. You probably like in, on a whole nother side of the world with a whole nother different profession or whatever the hell you're doing in life. Right. And you don't even need the, 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 you know, the ways that you've been brought up. You, you don't even need to live that way. To survive or exist or that to, way exactly. where, wherever you at in, in, in that, you know, in, oh, in the present that. moment. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, I feel that. You, you probably lived so sheltered mm -hmm. your whole life, and now you in a you in an area where it's just like you could kind of like be you. Yeah, like yeah. you might you might you might be in a suburban area now mm -hmm. as an adult, and you like 
being that you're so sheltered, you're so scared to go outside, not right. knowing that outside is mad it's chill. Fine. Like, everything's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you keep certain things, though. Certain traits you keep. Yeah, yeah certain yeah. things. But... But it's like, like up to you to decide like which is the health like the healthy yeah. things for you that you're gonna keep, exactly. and then still trying to find your own identity yeah. outside of that. You might you might have grew up with a certain type of belief or some type of yeah. like th- like type of way of thinking, mm-hmm. and you grow to think like yo like that's that's you can't that way of thinking is not doesn't go across the board all the time. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, life experiences. Yeah, like yeah. it's different perspectives and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Do you ever feel guilty if you feel like you're deviating from like things your parents taught you? No, no, or nothing. Because like, I you still feel good about it. I feel like a lot of that stuff is still ingrained in me. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a couple stuff. When I fuck up, that's when it. That's when it hit me in the mind. I'd be like, see, my mom definitely told me this before I even made this mistake. She yeah. warned me about this. You know what I'm saying? Like the older. Yeah. Yeah, they already been through it. Exactly. Yeah. My mom would tell me things that I'm like. Mom, but how would that even affect me? You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it life does. happens, and yeah. then I'll be like, yo, what she told me applies to this. That just happened. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, shit always happens, bro. Never fails. Yeah. But. Mm, I don't know. There's the certain things part, that I be feeling guilty about. Like, how I keep clean like that, that's going to stay with me. The what? The OCD from my mother. Oh, yeah, cleaning, cleaning? Yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. And just yeah. having manners. Like, neatness yeah. and shit. Yeah, like, manners, yeah. Just having manners. Yeah. Um, but, like, there's certain times where, like, I, I'm i not as social as the rest of my family. Like, uh, they always yeah. want to be, like, together and yeah, talk yeah, yeah. and share. And it's like, to yourself. if I see y'all once a month, I'm good. That's enough. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> And it's like, I be feeling guilty. I be feeling like it's fucked up, but that's just who I am yeah. as a person. Like, I don't need to constantly yeah. be around y'all. Like, I do feel like my like my, my elders communicate more with each other opposed to my generation. Right. Like, yeah. Like, we don't communicate Mm-mm. enough. Like, I feel you on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how y'all feel about that, though? Do you wish it was the opposite? Or you kind of fine with the way it is? I mean, mm. I'm fine with the way it is. I mean, we... we, we we keep, in, we, we keep in touch and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, every yeah. now and then. But, like, as far as, like, I feel like if we lived closer to each other, we would probably be hanging out with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's not that far away. It is, but, but it is a good drive, though. Yeah, it is a good drive. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. like no, and you know what? Hours. Life gets in the way. Like, you're yeah. tired. We work. Yeah. We wake up early. After work, you really want to go and visit somebody and yeah. chill with them. You want to be home. The thing, too, is the lot of my family on our side... I didn't grow up with, so the ones I did grow up with, I'm, I'm close with them. Yeah, I'm yeah, them. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of family that I'm that I know that you that you know of but never met. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Do they know y'all cousins? Um, did we mention that? Yeah, yeah they yeah, should the know. All right. Yeah, if they watched the the, the first episode where he yeah. was here. Yeah. Anthony, how do you feel about that? Because I know cousins. you're the, like the only child. It was you and your mom for the most part, like. I You're mean, I wasn't you know. raised with like culture, like in all these type of things. Like, I didn't have any Social of that shit. Constructs. Yeah, I didn't have any. And my mom was had me at seventeen, so she was out and having fun still when I was young, growing up. And it was just me, and she would leave me with, like my grandmother. My grandmother was raised in an orphanage. You never knew her family. She don't know what she was. She never had any family at all. Um, my father was this. I didn't have any of that yeah. stuff. So for me. That's why people be like, oh, how you, like, oh, like, I'm atheist, or, like, when people have, like, these oh families. God, I told my mom you were atheist. She, like, semi-freaked out. She Thanks. She's like, oh, no. Guess I'm not invited over for no, Thanksgiving you know ever again. <laughs> Jeez. My father was going to play that. The <laughs> fucking dog like, bowl. My father was like, there was, like, this, there's, like, a picture of Jesus with a prayer underneath. <laughs> And he was like, oh, you can give it to Anthony. He can put it in his car. I'm like, Anthony don't even believe in God. Like, he not putting that in his car. <laughs> I didn't want him to get excited to give it to you. And you just look at it like, why are you giving me this? I would have kept it, though. I, I'm not going to, like, rip it up and toss no, it away. It up, but it's just like, I know how you feel about it. So it's like, whatever. Yeah, but I just. So those things, like, for the meme, it really doesn't apply for me. Because I don't have to defend anything. You know what I mean? Because I, I've had my own thoughts about religion since I was young. Culture. I mean, I, I. I mean, I only identify like as being black. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pretty much. Or and my grandmother was white, but like that's just because of her. Like I even say black and white because I love my grandmother. 
but I don't make no mistakes about that. Um, so I don't know. The meme is it affects. I think that affects people who are str- who are strong in their beliefs. Like you know what I mean. Who have like yeah. extremist views. Who aren't able to have dialogue about Christianity versus like yeah. Islam or Buddhism. Like, you know, like, yeah, they don't want to hear a different right. opinion about yeah. shit. Where me, I don't care. I'm open. Whatever you want to be, yeah. you can be. Like who cares a shit. <laughs> <laughs>